Hey gang, we had a little bit of a problem here. This isn't as non-stick as I had hoped, but it's still fixable. Just gotta scrape off. Oh, something went down. It was just my cover. Yeah. Yeah. We got to push in a chair that looked up your head. So we're gonna try to get this into a uh, bird's nest by having to do it separately. So sorry, this isn't quite the dip and bump I had hoped to show you. So let's empty this out. Whoa, good catch in Let's empty this out into the plate. So technically this is just going to be a bird's nest now. Now you see how that crispy part fell out? That's the way it's supposed to be. But like I said, I'm not used to cooking without butter. Or should I have kept it on? No, keep it on. Oh, I got I got I got it. I got it. Okay. There we go. And now pour in the egg. Voila. Hope that egg comes out a lot better than this bip and bop. See, bip and bop would be nice and crispy. Um, but I think it's partially the pan, partially my fault. The one I have at home is like slicker than, than grease and it'll slip right out. And again, I'm not used to the stone. That's doing good. Okay. I think we're just going to go with one bip and bop today. So, what a spin blast. And I think I got some good exercises in for my OT. Am I right there, sir? Yes, absolutely. And I'm not bribing you with food. You're not touching it. Well. <laughs> Bob, but this is more like egg in a, in a bird's nest, which is a good thing because it's a little wrong, but that's okay. It'll mix in perfectly. So there we go. Um, bird's nest or bip and bop from Uncle Bart's College Cuisine from the home at the Secret Manor saying uh, eat more and enjoy and uh, we'll be cooking again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.